the strong and the weak. Which side is happier? You don't know either? Maybe no one knows. This is the question that Yotohime asks herself all the time. Why? Well, let me back up a little. You see, Yotohime is the welder of a cursed sword. Whenever there's danger nearby, the sword takes over and she goes savage on the threat. But when she comes to afterwards, she is filled with guilt at the pain she's caused. It's because of this power, this ability to escape any danger at the expense of others that makes her question whether those with the ability to hurt are happier than those who tend to get hurt. To put it simply, who's happier? The powerful or the powerless? It's a question that takes a little bit of adaptation to get it to suit our modern world better. There are actually several ways I can think of to make this question apply to a variety of situations. You could ask, who's happier, the wealthy or the poor? The geniuses or the average person? Yeah, that one was inspired by Flowers for Algernon. This aside, let's consider what we're actually asking. The question at its most basic level is asking for the difference between the side with more versus the side with less. In Yotohime's case, she wants to know if those with more power, more strength, are happier than those with less power. So now, I'm going to try to answer that as best I can. Few questions like this one can be answered simply. There's a lot that goes into the answer and a lot that comes out of the answer too. Yotohime knows that those with power sometimes do terrible things, whether they want to or not. She never meant to hurt anyone, yet now she kneels before the grave of one she loved. So, those with more, those with power, are not always going to be happy. But on the other hand, neither are those who have less. They have a lot more to worry about if they're gonna make it. But one could also argue that they also have less to lose. So while those who have more may not have as much to worry about, they've got a greater distance to fall if they should happen to. I think that really, it's up to the individual to decide which ha side is happier. Because in order for there to be sides, there must first be people on those sides, and it is the people on those sides who get to choose their own happiness. However they do it, however successful they are, the individual is the key to their own happiness. But that's just my opinion. And besides, not everyone can be happy all the time. It's simple logic that says that negative emotion must exist for positive emotion to make a difference. As for Yotohime, I guess she'll just have to treat her curse like an allergy. It sucks, but there's not much to be done about it. I guess some people can grow out of allergies, but I've never heard of someone growing out of a curse. Maybe you have, have you? <laughs> Imagine walking up to someone and having them say, Hi, I'm so-and-so. I used to be cursed when I was small, but I grew out of it. I don't know what I'd say to that. Anyway, back to the original question. Who is happier, the strong or the weak? My answer is that it depends on the individual. I could be strong and happy. I could also be weak and happy, if I wanted to be. Another thing I learned today is that curses are like allergies, and neither curses nor allergies are very fun when you're the one afflicted with them. But on a more serious note, there has to be a way to measure strength. Even if it's not quantifiable, there is something we have to compare ourselves to when we question our own strength, and decide how much of it we possess. We might think about those close to us, or those we've encountered briefly, and come to a conclusion about where we stand among them. But the thing is, there's no measure of happiness. Happiness comes and goes. Sometimes it stays a while, sometimes it just shows up. But other times, it is a choice. Sometimes, in order to have happiness, you have to make the choice. You have to make it happen, or it will elude you and leave you hanging. So, happiness is a fickle thing, and power is a relative one. Understanding all this, I have to stand by what I said. Neither side is truly happier than the other. You can meet two individuals from either background who will tell you entirely different things about the happiness they've experienced in their lives. Two powerful people might have different opinions, as may two normal people. So I guess, if I had to give any advice to Yotohime, it would be this. I know you like to say, don't talk to me, don't come near me, don't try to understand me. But you have a curse, so happiness on its own will evade you. In your case, the best thing you can do is choose your own happiness. Wherever you can find it, there you will have it. And that is how you can decide for yourself which side you think is happier. Signing out, this is me.